Hey guys, it's Jerson here, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble an IKEA Mitel bunk bed frame. Now, I saw a ton of videos online on how to put these things together. IKEA, of course, comes with instructions on how to put it together, but I didn't find a whole lot out there on how to take them apart. So we're going to go through it together step by step on how I'm going to take this apart, uh, and hopefully this method works for you too. The first thing you want to do to get started is clear the beds and take the mattresses off. Once you clear the mattresses from the frame, you can gather your tools and get to work. For this job, you can use the same hex key tools provided by IKEA when you purchase the frame, if you still happen to have those lying around, that is. Otherwise, a standard hex key set along with a flathead screwdriver should be all you need. I'm going to start by removing the piece of the ladder that connects the top bunk to the bottom bunk. And then, I'll continue to work my way around the top bunk, loosening up all of the screws but not yet completely removing them. Now, depending on how far you want to disassemble the frame, you may only need to remove the screws that connect the frame from one long part of the bed to the other. This is how I ended up taking apart the frame, and it works really well if you plan to move the bed to a new location using a truck or U-Haul, and it saves you some time because you don't have to completely disassemble the whole frame. Once the screws were loose, I went around and carefully removed them so that the top bunk was only being held up by the wooden pegs. Now I gotta warn ya, so you don't repeat my mistake here. When taking apart the bed frame, it's definitely a good idea to have another person around to help. In fact, it should be mandatory. If you do it solo, you might end up doing what I did here. After I dropped the top bunk, I went ahead and moved it out of the way. The support planks for the mattress did a great job staying together while I picked up the top bunk and moved it over. This probably could have ended up being much worse, but ultimately I only broke this small support piece that connects the frame to the wooden rail, which is there to protect the person sleeping on the top bunk from rolling off. It's an important piece, but it should be an easy one to replace. With the top bunk out of the way, I started to loosen the screws and nuts on the bottom bunk. With everything removed, I pulled apart the bottom bunk and it gracefully came down onto the floor. Don't worry, nothing broke this time. I set the tall frame pieces against the wall so they didn't come crashing down. Now, this might be all the work you need to do to break down the frame so it can be moved out of your building and into a vehicle. For me, these pieces were easy enough to get through the door, so this was as far as I needed to go. All in all, it only took me about half an hour to disassemble the bed, and I imagine if you had a second person to help, it would take half the time. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button down below or leave your comment if you want to make fun of me for breaking the bed frame. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.